What if we could hear from Jesus and have a good sense of where God was calling us next? That's what we do every week in 10 Minutes with Jesus. I'm Father Jason Ingalls, the rector at Holy Spirit Episcopal Church in Waco, Texas, and I'll be your guide for this time of guided prayer with Scripture. As we prepare our hearts for prayer, I invite you to find a comfortable place to sit, to close your eyes, and to take a few deep breaths. Be present, be present, O Jesus, our great high priest, as you were with your disciples, urging and encouraging and pleading with them to lead lives worthy of the gospel of God. Amen. We'll be praying with a portion of our passage from 2 Timothy uh, that will be read in church this coming Sunday, specifically 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 to 17. As we read the passage the first time, ask Jesus what word, phrase, image, or idea he wants to stand out to you as a basis for your prayer. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. Jesus, what word, phrase, image, or idea do you want to stand out to me today? As we read the passage a second time, ask Jesus to point out to you what God inspires us for. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who believes to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. What does God inspire us for? As we read the passage a final time, ask Jesus what he's calling you to do, change, or become. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. Jesus, what are you calling me to do, change, or become?
And now, drawing all of our prayers into one, we pray as our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.